and today is going to be called Corrupted Files. So with this challenge, it's a forensic challenge by Pico CTF. And they give us a quick description. It says, the file seems broken or is it? Maybe a couple of bytes can make all the difference. Can you figure out how to bring back the file? It says download the file here. And we're ge we have three hints for us. We have try checking the file header, JPEG. And tools like XXD or hex stuff can help you inspect and edit file bytes. So if we download the file here and then look up a hex editor online we come to this tool hex edit and from right here we could just simply open a file and the file we're going to open is the one that we have and we see the hex values of the jpeg so how do we know i guess this is something you have to google on your own is look up the values the hex values of a jpeg and just compare what's missing that's basically the the if of this challenge it says at the start of an image, a bit the file begins with the hex values so FF, D8, and FF, which we don't have. We're missing these two values at the beginning, and that's why it says in the challenge can you figure out uh, maybe a couple of bytes can make a difference. That's the hint they give us inside the description. So all we need to do is just change a couple of bytes with just FF and D8. So we go right here, FF, and then D8, D8. And then we have FF, D8, and FF. Uh, so let's see, hopefully that's enough. So we could export this. And then we could just go back to iTerm. And then we could do go to our download and look up file and then file. Well, if the file command line tool tells us, it's going to tell us what exactly the file is. And in this case, it tells us it's not a JPEG. So we could just move this file. And then rename it as file.jpg. And then we check our old one, file file. It just says data because it's data. It doesn't know what it is because of the hex values. But now, since we converted it to a JPEG, we could just go to our downloads folder and then look up our download and file.jpg and we get the flag. So simply from right here, all we need to do is I'll just simply copy paste it. We love Mac for this. And then we just paste it. Hopefully that does it. It got everything. PCDF. Hopefully, and then we submit it. So there's, I think the image file is complete. It's just off by a bit, so we just have to compare it. Uh, Pico CTF R three S T zero R one N G underscore T H three underscore by B Y seven three S underscore three one cc seven nine five d wait that's p i c o and then c t a oh pretty brace and then submit it and we solve this challenge so yeah that's about it hopefully you guys learned something new today i know i did and i'll see you guys in the next one peace